people, hello and welcome to the season finale of the Extreme Chunk PvP Challenge series. It seems like we finally got a name for this motherfucker. Episode 20. If you guys are new here and you've never watched an episode here of this season, I urge you, go back to episode 1, watch through, because it is a completely wild ride and you don't want to miss it. I guess you can see what I'm wearing now, but this doesn't spoil too much. You have no idea how many we've won and stuff. Go treat yourself to a nice binge and then come back here to see the finale because as of right now, I have no idea who's going to win. Before we get in today's video, let's talk about today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. Look guys, I don't want you to be one of those people who spontaneously get hacked online and are left wondering how this could have ever possibly happened. Too many people are leaving themselves vulnerable to DDoS attacks or risking themselves to being hacked because of their unencrypted internet connection. So what if I told you ExpressVPN acts as a shield, blocking out those unwanted people with malicious intent? Your data remains completely encrypted and gets rerouted to any server location of your choice. There are so many servers to choose from, just take a look. Getting ExpressVPN could actually even pay for itself. Most people already know that it can be used to unblock certain shows, but did you know that by simply changing your region, it's possible to also pay cheaper monthly prices? Take a look at Argentina, for example. So I work from home and let's just say I'd never take the risk of not using a VPN. I feel so much safer preventing DDoSers, hackers, and companies taking advantage of me before they even have a chance to strike. So if ExpressVPN is something that you are interested in, find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link down in the description. That's expressvpn.com slash rarg. Thanks once again for ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. Spoilers from this moment going forward. I guess on screen you can already see I have the extra 15 minutes, but we won last fight. Now that's absolutely fantastic. If there's a fight you want to win before the finale, it's the fight right before the finale. And we managed to do that. And we had about 70 HP, I think it was. I think 60 something to be exact, high 60s. Um, it was, so it was a 60 something HP difference. Now I know in the final fight, Link is going to have bruise. He's going to have a lot more heals and a lot more power his way. He's probably going to be training all episode because he loves those, those grubby keys. He's going to be pretty darn powerful. The one good thing about Bruise is that it does bring your stats down, so he should be hitting less. Um, and is he going to bring extra super sets to compensate for his extra or, or his lack of damage that he will be doing? I don't know. I don't know his thought process, but we know what we're going to do in this episode. We are going back to Revs, and we are going to try to get the D legs. We are going to buy... Addy and Rune Arrows, only those two things. And the reason why I'm here is also because we're going to sell some stuff to the store so we can get money to buy these arrows. Um, we're going to try to kill revs as fast as possible. I'm going to use pretty much all the restores I have in my bank, Eagle Eye on the entire time, get crazy amounts of XP. I want to kill the Cyclops because they're a pretty low level compared to the other revs that is. And they also have a 7.5% XP buff. Why? I don't know. The Pyro Fiends don't have that. It's really weird. It's also a lot more common for them to drop the Dragon Plate Legs and the Dragon Legs, which of course, again, is what we're going for. They're also really good XP because they keep healing. That plus is 7.5%. Honestly, even after I get the legs, I still might train there. Or maybe I'll hit some defense. I don't know that yet. The first thing on my mind is get those Dragon Legs. So what we can do right now is start the timer and just, nope, that's already the wrong guy. Oh my god, I'm wasting time on the season finale. Dump it. I don't care about the prices. Let's, I should have had runes ready. Let's go to Camelot. Hello, Bs and Gs, and welcome to the last episode of the PvP chunk series thing. I don't have 4 hours 15. I don't know why I've got that up. Let me let me change that quickly. We didn't win the last episode. There we go. We got 4 hours. Let me just stop that. There we go. We got 4 hours in this episode. Um, Kins won the last one. The one just before the end, which uh, doesn't feel great. But, of course, we do have brews. We have super restores um, and stuff like that to, uh, to bring into this fight and possibly win it. Um, we're also going to be going for some just straight combat XP and then straight into hoping to get some more brews because I think I've only got like six. I'd love to have a few more. Um, and on top of that, try and get some restores and stuff. We will see what happens. Uh, we do have a grubby key from last episode to use. So we're going to kick off the episode doing that. Let's start the timer. Come on, brews. 
thought that was a bro. <laughs> it's just the strength potion I bought with me. More sharks, but it doesn't really matter at this point. We've got enough sharks for the final fight. Um, we are going to go down and kill the red dragons again because I want to get that prayer level. I'd love to try and get 80 prayer uh, this episode. I'm actually going to check what threshold gives us a new like prayer point per dose. Um, if, it, if it's 80 plus, then we'll really push for that 80. Um, we will see what happens. Here we go. The final episode, I might start using these as well because we've got enough for the final fight, so I might be going for the super attacks and stuff. Let's do it. Guys, take a look at my chat box. When I just bought out all those rune arrows, 2k each. I mean, I don't care because I'm, you know, it's it's worth nothing to me. These servers are going to explode. I don't need money aside from this, so I can't believe I just spent probably an average of like 1.2k on on rune arrows what the heck what i can't believe this my second oh, from a fucking imp why do i get everything from imps i always kill those imps every time i'm running through and wow okay i mean more money literally more money on the account what the heck I also realized I did, in fact, forget the super restores. It's okay. I'm going to flick. And I didn't have enough for the whole episode anyway. Um, so it's not a big deal. We'll just grab them next trip. Plus, we'll probably get some this trip that I can use. It literally poops out super stores like crazy. But look, as I was saying, increased XP rates and he heals. And it makes it for some really good XP. Of course, when I'm recording, it's just a zero fest. It's not usually like this. Come on, hit. But look at those XP drops, man absolutely insane we're probably gonna get two range levels here my goal is to get two range levels and then get the d legs and then probably train somewhere just to get some defense levels with my rune long sword it's gonna be really shitty xp but we could probably get two or three defense levels it just all depends on how quick the d legs happen i find this so funny i just got a second emblem guys i mean these are the the worst one technically um but i'm not even scold that's what i find funny about it because the drop i need has nothing to do with with the skull drop table um that's for emblems the weaponry which i wouldn't use in a fight anyway so i find it really funny that i was scold last episode and i didn't get any emblems i'm not scold this episode and i've gotten two so far in literally about 45 minutes of killing these guys um, we have 43 Cyclops skills, and there is unfortunately no dragon legs in sight. But uh, I'm not really picking up any of the drops either, unless it's an alkable. If we take a look in here, it's just a bunch of alkable stuff. Picking up the food, picking up the pots. We got that eagle eye on. We're getting like 450k range XP an hour. We were pretty close to 86, but we did get 86, and we're more than halfway, 63% of the way till 87 so <laughs> we're gonna have some decent range xp this episode guys okay this is gonna be a prayer level coming in here i think we literally just need to do like two um so that's 78 prayer coming in which does give me a new um like extra pot if that makes sense on the on a dose i get an extra prayer point now i need 188 for another one so what I was thinking was I was going to go kill the red spiders because they're better XP per hour in terms of combat. But I reckon I can get one more prayer level. So what I'll do is I'll do one more prayer level of the, uh, what they call the red dragons. And then we will fire on over to the red spiders probably as my last thing that we do. Uh, we do have two grubby keys here, which I will go ahead and open up and see if we can get anything from them. It's just, it's just bruise. That's all we need and restores. No bruise. Bruise! Yes! Come on! That's what we want to see. And half a restore there as well. Awesome stuff. Uh, I am going to bank just because I want to sort of uh, reassess how many, like, supers I have. Because if I have more than enough, because I can't quite remember. Okay, I just missed 90 attack coming in there. So we're going to move on to defense now. Uh, I'm not too bothered about getting a max hit. I just want to be a little bit tankier for the next fight. Uh, I also have more than enough. Uh, can we eat one of these? Yeah, go on. I also have more than enough um, supers in the bank that I can use them for training, which means we'll be getting quicker XP, obviously. That is 85 defense coming in. And this also is the last dragon bone we need to get ourselves up to that 79 prayer. Sorry, Bruce, though, please. <laughs> We're on fire! We're on fire! Oh, amazing stuff. 
Um, okay, cool. I'm going to go and head on over to the spiders now. I am going to go and get some new pots, though, because we are out of pots. Super happy with that. Now it's just a case of getting this defense level as high as possible. I'm guessing we'll get 87, 88, something like that. Um, and then that will probably be our fill. But uh, yeah, buzzing buzz it so just got one of the rarest drops you could possibly get a magic seed and i'm or four magic seeds to be exact and i'm not scold so the chances are about one in 3k and all i want is like a one in 300 dragon plate legs or plate skirt so i'm stressing out here i'm stressing also to decided to come to hobgoblins because if i'm not using rune arrows the cyclopses are kind of hard to kill not hard to kill but they take a little bit too long to kill relative to the hobgoblins which are slightly higher level than the pyre fiends so that means they do drop the d legs and d skirt a little more often i just want d legs give me the dragon plate legs or the skirt i don't care i'm not picky i'm not picky an hour and nine minutes left i am getting nervous i am getting very nervous at this point um, the only great news through this is that my range level is going through the roof. So I'm, I, I don't feel that guilty that I'm not trading defense because I wasn't expecting to nearly get five range levels this episode and we might actually hit 90. That is, of course, assuming we stay here the entire rest of the hour and nine minutes. But I just want the D legs. I just want to be able to like breathe and not have the stress out. Um, because after an hour and nine minutes, that's it. That's, 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 that's it. It. Then it's the final fight. We need the D legs. It's gonna happen right here. I have a feeling. Ready? Ready? I gotta do a little head bang. Imagine that was it. Oh yeah! Let's freaking go! I'm lagging. Oh my gosh! We fucking got it! I don't even need to kill these fuckers anymore. It just depends who I want to get this last range level. Which might not happen or focus on some defense. I don't know if I can get two defense levels, but I think I might try. We got the D-Legs! We got the D-Legs, guys. Oh my god. Literally just under an hour to go. I'm- I'm- Oh, I'm just so happy. I'm so freaking happy. We're gonna kill this last one. We're gonna just keep the 89 range and say, you know, that's a big upgrade. Two episodes ago, I was 82. We're going to focus on trying to get that 74 defense at the very least. It will be a rune long sword. It will be very shit. Why do I even care about picking up the arrows? Let's go to rock crabs. Because again, I don't have access to the sand crabs. I technically have them unlocked, but there's no way to actually get there. So that's quite funny. But um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, 53 minutes. We just got ourselves an anti-poison. We grabbed another Lanta Dime out of the bank, and we just train. We already have the three doses of the super defense, but again, I'd rather an extra dose because it can't hurt. It absolutely can't hurt. We're going to the Rock Crabs, and again, hopefully we get those two levels. I think we can do it, to be honest. I'm really buzzing. So it's looking like roughly 320k XP an hour. Now, I haven't been here long, so that could definitely go down a little bit, but... That does mean we will, in fact, get two levels at the very least. Hey, couple more grabby keys here. And uh, I'm sort of having the plan that I might bring no dragon dagger, no anti-poison, nothing like that. And just bring as much food as possible and just try and outlast his prayer. Is my thought process. As soon as he drops that prayer, come on, Sarah Bruce, Sarah Bruce, Sarah Bruce. Yes, come on. Yeah, so my plan is outlast him, let that prayer drop, and then start using my pots and stuff. So until then, it's sort of like drink sorrow brews um, and, you know, drink with stores, keep myself like at an okay level, but not to the point of like going all out. Wait until he's exhausted all his food or at least a decent chunk of it and then go into like kill him mode while he drops that prayer. I think that's the only way I win this. Um, and I think it's a huge advantage to have. So I think that's what we're going to be doing. So, so happy to see another one and a half bruise there because uh, that fills the one that we got earlier. And also the half restore fills another restore that we had earlier. So lovely to see. Right. I got my defense level 87 is what we got. We didn't get the 88, which, yeah, that was never going to happen. Uh, we are about to get... Uh, 89 HP come through though. Four minutes left. I also pulled two more grabby keys, which is insane. Um, so yeah, I'll probably go until two minutes left, see if we can pull one more grabby key, and then we'll fire off, and that'll be the last thing we do. 
Let's have a look. Come on. It'd be so great to get a third grubby key. I mean, this is lovely to see these two in the last like 20 minutes or whatever it was. It was so quick getting them. Um, but obviously it won't count for anything if it's not a... Uh, if it's not Sarah Bruise or Super Restores, so, you know, we'll see. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, 89 HP coming in. How close are we? Still still probably 30, 40 seconds off, so I'll see you then. There we go. 89 HP coming in. As I say, I'll probably do one or two more kills, and then we'll go and open up these keys. I don't need this food anymore, so, to be honest, I'm probably just going to drop it. Okay, cool. Let's see what we get. Last kill I'm going to do... No, grabby key. Okay, cool. Let's see what we get from these two. If we could see some brews, I would be over the moon. Super restores as well, obviously. That that would be incredible. And I'd feel pretty good going into this fight. Like, it's a really good omen to see some brews. Like, with 1 minute 45 left. First one. Come on. Two prayer pots. And... Uh, no brews. No brews. Some dragon bones. We're not going to have time to unnote them and put them on the 300% um, XP thing. That's going to be it. That is going to be it, Bs and Gs. There's no way I'm going to be able to do anything else. You know what? I'll kill an undead druid. Imagine we get a, a one-kill druid grubby key. That I guess that's the only thing I can hope for here. Um, yeah. But that's probably going to be it. Unless something crazy happens here, then I will see you at well i will show you what i'm taking to this fight so we have under eight minutes left in total on this account before the final fight there's nothing else i can do i can't get that last defense level unfortunately and it sucks because assuming we train the last seven minutes we would actually get really close but even with flicking it's not gonna get us there so i'm, I'm just gonna chill i'm just gonna chill the last seven minutes and just relax we actually have to make another ring of recoil, so I'm going to, again, I'm going to enjoy my last few minutes on this account, and I'm going to walk on over to Artie and just bask it in. You know, as much as I want to keep training, there's nothing I can do. There's no point in training. The servers literally end tomorrow. It's not like I can squeeze out some XP. If I don't get the level, I don't get the level. So we're going to enjoy the last six minutes. I'm just going to vibe. Look at us. How, when's the last time you saw a guy that looked like this in RuneScape? This is also probably a good time to address the fact that I'm not going to go magic in the final fight. I know there's a lot of people talking about it. I've been talking about it. But truthfully, the main reason that I've been talking about it is just to try to spook Link as much as possible. I don't have access to mage gear and magic just simply would not hit. Even with all of the armor that Link has on, he has a pretty high magic defensive bonus. He has the Thieving Cape. He has the Amulet of Power. He's got, I think, uh, Green Dehyde Van Braces. And it's not much. It's not much at all. But it does give a magic defense. He does have like 70 magic. And I don't have any magic attack here. So that is the big issue there. I'm not going to have access to a god cape. I didn't have access to mystics. Again, that wasn't my plan. I had a plan to go to the magic guild first, buy full mystic, and then go to the rev caves. But it just would not have been enough time to make sure I've gotten everything on the account nice and settled. Because money is really hard to make. I'm loaded now, but that's only because I have revs unlocked. Of course, I wouldn't have had that before I unlocked revs because revs are locking me into that chunk. So I know a lot of people want me to go magic, but I ju I'm just not going to hit with it. And he's going to absolutely destroy me once I take off my armor. I can't even switch my armor. I'd have to take it off and it'd just be miserable. Let's make the ring a recoil. The funniest part about this is that I actually have 18 sapphire rings in the bank. And I'm just doing this to do it because it's the last thing i'm gonna do in this pvp challenge unless jekyll boy shows up and hits me with another super defense potion so we will ride out the time we're just gonna chill here because you know why not why not i bet no one's ever stood in this corner before ever like why would anybody ever walk here probably a misclick so i take that back there's definitely someone who's been standing there why, or maybe someone just crazy like me i don't know i'll see you guys at the reveal to be honest, guys, there really isn't too much to talk about. I've said why I'm not going magic. We've talked about my upgrades with the armor and the levels. The inventory is the exact same as it was in the last fight. The bolts are the same. Two recoils. 
I'm just nervous. It's like that nervous, excited energy. And um, our our slash defense is looking juicy, guys. 194. Much higher than it was in last episode by 17, I believe. So I'm feeling good. Hopefully that's enough to compensate for the bruise that he's definitely going to bring in this fight. I'm hoping the bruise, they lower stats enough to just really not do enough damage on me. I know he's going to bring a lot, I or he should bring a lot. I know he's got like seven or something, and that was in last episode. He probably trained all episode, so we'll see, guys. Let's go to the reveal. All right, guys. After a lot of thinking, this is what I'm going to go for. I was tempted to do so many different things, but I think this is the way to effectively brute force our way to a win here. Um, and as you can see, I've set my inventory up in a way that I want to eat it. So I'm going to go into the fight and I'm not going to pot up. I'm going to hit a Sarabro, which will put us down to 79 attack, 78 strength. But what it will do is put us up to 106 defense, keeping us hopefully pretty safe from most attacks. And the, 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 the aim of the game here is to just last as long as possible and make him use up his prayer. We'll be using Sarah Bruise, which obviously will have a lot of heal advantage over what he has. And then I'll be sipping on the super restores while we do that. So we'll be keeping the prayer high. We'll be keeping the stats fairly, um, you know, back to where they should be. In the first minute or so of the fight, I will be brewed down because I don't want to waste one of these sips. So we will brew down. But then hopefully towards like, you know... After the start of the fight, we'll be able to maintain ourselves into the point where we'll, we'll be close to these sort of stats. You know, we'll have our 90s and 88 um, strength is the sort of plan there. And then hopefully we get to like, you know, these two pots, these two pots, wherever, you know, and his prayer drops. And that is then when we repot up, we get ourselves nicely ready. Um, and then we go for the super attack, super strength. And we hope that these sharks along with having all the prayer in the world, uh, does everything that I need it to do and uh, and gets us the win. That's the plan. Will it happen? I don't know. I've brought an extra prayer pot just so we have like as much prayer as I possibly want. I will probably flick um, incredible reflexes, but I'll obviously have protect from missiles, steel skin, and ultimate strength on the whole fight is the plan there. Um, so yeah, I don't know whether it's going to work or not. He might just have too much for me. And he's just doing too much damage. But I'm hoping that we can uh, see that. It, right now, I'm thinking, do I just go with... Do I swap the Dragon Defender out and go with a Rune Square just to outlast him just that bit longer? <sighs> we just lose so many attacking bonuses with that. So I probably am not going to do it. But it's it's tempting. There you go, guys. <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. Let's jump into the fight. Linky boy. Hello, mate. It just seems like we started this series not too long ago. And mm -hmm. here we are. Episode 20, the finale. Incredible. Incredible stuff. Um, yeah, time yeah. flies. Time flies. Holy crap. Nervous, I'm and not going to lie. Oh, I'm incredibly nervous, but yeah. it's like good nerves. Like I'm pumped, you know. Um, I, I don't know if I've got the same nerves as you. I'm just straight up like, fuck. Have oh, I okay. chosen the right thing? Am I going down the right route? You know, like yeah. yeah. I mean, I I I have that too, but I don't know. I just finished filming, and right. I I guess I still have that energy from it. Right. You know, knowing mm -hmm. that this mm -hmm. is the last one of the season, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Feeling all right. I'm feeling all, oh, I'm feeling the best I could feel. Let's put it that okay. way. You know, well, I I still that's think good. this could go either way. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. hopefully none of us fuck up too big in the fight. Like forget oh, a recoil. God. Oh my God! Could you, it, right? <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> All oh, right, yeah. what do you say we read through the skills that we've got? You know, it, it is the finale. Let's let's yeah. do a combat reveal. Then we can go through the stats, and then we'll do a gear reveal like we normally do. And, you know, we'll milk it just a little bit. Cool, cool, um, cool, cool. Combat level reveal in three, mm. two, one, go. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's trained. You train too much, Link. Stop training. <laughs> Stop. Were you at the Mate, Grubbies if all that bro, so if I hadn't, If I hadn't fuck. trained this much, you'd be destroying me. That's how powerful What happened to the, to, to, the, to the cudgel, man? That plan is just, just non-existent. It, 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 
the, do you know the the one reason I didn't go for the cudgel? Mm-hmm. If I'd had if I'd had pr- um, herbal unlocked and I could make prayer pots, I would have gone for it. But I I would have burnt through all of my prayer pots, losing fights because I wasn't able to then bring two. And then in uh-huh. the finale, I don't even know if I would have had prayer pots to use. So it it was just a case of that. Other than that, I was I was keen to go for it, but there was just no way of generating that prayer to be able to do Such it. Such you know? a high level, dude! Oh my god, I, I'm I gained one combat <laughs> level, dude. But but I, I gained two. What? Oh yeah, you gained two. <laughs> I mean, I Sorry. see. I did look up your stats when when you were talking there, and I see you're at mm. 79 prayer. <laughs> yeah, which is really annoying because I think 80 gives me another sipperu like dose thing. Oh you know? wow, yeah, that that's annoying. Um, but um, and similar to my HP as well, I'm just off getting like a, a, a. I can't remember exactly how it was, but yeah, like I, there was just a few things that I was just slightly off. I right. think defense as well. I'm slightly off getting the next Sarah brew like upgrade. That sort of thing, you know. So, right, um, right. I was just slightly off a few things. I'm having a little look up of you here. Yeah. Um, so I'll read through my stats. I mean, you're probably looking at them right now. 89 mm. range. We gained four range levels this episode. Wow. wow. Um, revs are actually ridiculous XP because they heal. They drop yeah. prayer pots or super stores. So I had eagle on the yeah. whole time. The cyclops mm-hmm. gives seven and a half times extra. We're not uh, sorry. Seven and a half percent extra xp plus the yeah. times 10 or times the times 10 so 89 range could have gotten 90 but then i decided to focus on some defense got my defense to 74 and then all else is pretty much the same i think i wish i had revs unlocked mate i would have come and pk you up like okay stop him stop him getting his stuff <laughs> how funny would that have been <laughs> yeah uh you're looking a lot a lot stronger how that's last. one combat level is actually beyond me I see when, like, like your melee stats aren't, like, through the roof. Yeah, dude, my melee stats, aside from the few defense levels I just gained, have been the exact same (laughs) since episode, like, seven. Mental. So. Um, okay. All right. All right. All right. I see that you don't. Sorry, I'm really, I'm really (laughs) struggling, yeah. You are right? I see that you don't have 79 magic, which is nice to see. I don't. I don't. Which would have been spoiled anyway in the reveal. I I had a big talk with my audience on, or our audience. It's not yours, Link. It's all mine. Um, (laughs) On why I thought that was a bad move. So Mm -hmm. I really did want to entangle in this fight, but my my whole plan was to go to the um, Mage's Guild, buy Mystic, Mm -hmm. then lock myself in revs. Mm -hmm. But it's super hard to make money now it's easy because i have revs unlocked but i, I couldn't do it the other do it way, the other way around. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it would have taken probably an episode to either range ogres warriors and i would have had to buy everything because they're all best in slots for magic i couldn't just buy the top yeah, and the yeah, bottom yeah. and dip it would have been the the entire set um so i didn't have that luxury so it would have been like two episodes of training or or train agility for an, an entire episode but that's no range levels so decided um, that I, the I fights guess. were really close that I would just mm-hmm. test my luck, tank range. And obviously, I didn't want to tell you that. That's why I was like, oh, I got entangled. Yeah, I mean, you know, I got entangled. That's why, that's why I was playing the whole crafting game, you know, mind games and all that shit to try and throw you off a little yeah. bit. That was why I got these three items, you know. Some of it worked a little defense. bit, I guess, you know, worked a little bit. I, I effectively tried to inconvenience you to the point where you're like, fuck it, I'll try and go out another way, you know. So right. I, I guess it helped a little bit to, to get these things. That What's was the, that your was magic defense with that on? 17 that that's fucked up high for three items that are not yeah. like big slot items like mm-hmm. it's not a body yeah. not legs yeah that's that's super annoying see i'm I'm, yeah. I'm glad i didn't because i have no magic boosting stuff i don't have a cape i don't have any mystic it would have been yeah, a fucking I, I, wizard hat i think you would have <laughs> really struggled staff. you would have really struggled uh dude i'm not gonna lie I, you know I, I i've got exactly the same i didn't have any right. upgrades to really you know get anymore so. yeah i mean you, you you've been stuck in that i in did that look into rogue cave. boots did you because they do give magic and range defense but you know you get it's it's not like you can choose the boots is it i think you have to do like a chance or something i can't remember maybe you can choose them but i was just like oh no i couldn't i couldn't do it because of the agility that was the reason right okay so you know irrelevant okay. really <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but i did look into them okay all right um i'm a little different maybe yeah, i'm sure you are maybe you got that 
my my <clears throat> oh now i'm coughing dude what's going on <laughs> so i mean i'm just gonna taunt you a little bit i've either got him or i don't you, you know? do you do you sound far too happy about it well you know i'm, I'm with my friends you we're, have we're, we're, you have we're filming pvp challenges you, you, together you're this gonna is be a finale a, you're gonna be a ready boy mate i can feel it Link, i can feel it t minus 57 minutes until the final fight uh, dragon plate legs make an appearance uh -huh. 57 minutes left was it getting desperate oh yeah i was nervous as shit i i I, <laughs> I was trying to sound like i'm not that stressed because like oh good range xp but deep down i was like this is gonna fucking cost me the fight and i'm actually yeah, yeah, yeah. really upset because I'm, I'm way over drop right at this point Mm -hmm. so and i got two in the same drop so it was like a big fuck wow. you like just drop one at double the drop rate please you know <laughs> don't don't play me like that but okay yeah. all right all right I, I mean i was expecting that I was, yep. I was expecting it i i i fully thought you'd have it um cool i guess we're doing inventories mate yeah let's do it let's do it let's go in the bank and grab them all righty let's see that inventory link the, the whole episode i'm just thinking how many brews is this guy gonna bring how I many get so sharp, some sort of upgrade? Uh... <sighs> oh, fuck. Yeah, that's fucked up. You said you had like fucking seven. You got three this. Oh my god, you got yeah. three. I mean, they dropped them in one and a half, so I got two drops from the grubby keys. messed up that's and you know like you you don't oh you're bringing a prayer pot as well yeah just in case if you're eating faster then you need to restore prayer or something exactly and, right and and just yeah i i feel like i've got so much food there why not have fucking loads of prayer as well you know <laughs> yeah. like... and i definitely brought three again knowing that this was going to be right. a long yeah. Mm -hmm. fight mm -hmm. i don't know how to manage my prayer in this fight and oh that's gonna be stressful <laughs> yeah I, realistically it's tough it's tough for you to manage it because of how much prayer i have yeah oh, man um, i mean if you win it's because of those brews and i'm not happy about it <laughs> i'm not happy about it at all i am over the moon to see a super anti because i didn't bring the dragon dagger <sighs> Fuck. i'd rather the food i wasn't poisoning you anyway there's no point fuck it keep it simple wow so you didn't bring the dragon dagger knowing i'd bring this yeah, and I thought that would be two inventory state spaces plus. <sighs> oh, what's he got? What's he got? That's super defense. Did you not see Dr. Jekyll again? I didn't. <laughs> I, I, I actually yeah. don't think you can get him in the wildy, honestly. The only random oh, really? event I've gotten in the wildy that I've seen... I mean, I could just be making shit up. I'm just kind of yeah, yeah. speaking out loud here, but... Only thing I've... At least I remember getting was the random plant thing. The, the strange plant right. that popped up. So... I don't even know if you can pop up there. He probably can, and I just got really unlucky in two episodes, mm -hmm. didn't get him, but... Super happy to see you didn't bring Emerald Bolts. I took the risk again, no anti. On a finale? Oh, bolts. 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 Do, you know, do you know why? Do you bolts. know why? I, I thought, if I lose because of poison, it's not my fault. And then that's why I took <laughs> Wow. <the> <laughs> He doesn't even <laughs> care about winning. It's just, oh, it's not my fault. Okay. Uh, they still would have so, blamed yeah. you. You know that, right? Oh, Come well, on. Yeah. Deep, deep down, it's, you know. Oh, it's me being deluded as yeah. fuck. But, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Link, whoever takes this, it's been a pleasure. It's mm. been a 20 episode long pleasure. And um, I think both of our plans are very different which which which, I, which i'm very happy with it's so it's always good when we go down different paths so yeah. good luck mm -hmm. good luck sir gl dude gl right let I'm me know pop. that two second warning i got one pot i guess two right. one doesn't do any sh anything anymore because you're not even gonna poison me are you ready did you pot no i'm about to oh yeah okay. i mean when okay. you pot I'm oh you're pot. ready for the pot yeah right, yeah okay, yeah cool, yeah, cool. yeah okay i'm potting are you ready? Yep. Do it. Oh my god, we have to move deeper. Go, 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 yep, go, go, go. go. So... <laughs> Alright, just just attack. Just attack, 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 attack. Oh my god. Fuck. What what is wrong <laughs> with us, dude? So much, so much. I think we might need to move a little bit as well, because I'm literally stood on twenty, which is our yeah, here. combat level. Cool, nice. 
I, I, I got it. I got it. <laughs> That's full on going away. <laughs> they okay. don't call me sea engineer for nothing, man. <laughs> they call you sea engineer. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Dude, I'm all red except my shield and it bothers me kind of. I know. What a start. What a start. And what's sad thing is just a bit of an RNG can mess you up so badly. Yeah. You know? Oh, Niles. here we go. <laughs> I guess you can get shit in the wildy. I've, I've literally. Oh, it's you. <laughs> it's me. Fuck that. Am I? Am I? Those bolties on the floor now. Yeah. Should probably pick them up, actually. I mean, I've you got, got enough. Or I do. I have like 180, yeah. but yeah, this is going to be a long fight. Probably still is plenty, but you know. I'd be very surprised if you got through 180. Jesus Christ. Yeah. House is pissing me off, man. Too annoying to look at. How's that hand? Mine's sweaty as fuck, bro. <laughs> I'm shaking as much as solo mission. Right now, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> don't roast the poor man. He deserves it. I'm your enemy today, not solo. Come <laughs> on, man. Come on, where are the hits at? He doesn't like being low. He doesn't like being low. I don't. There. Was that my first one, man? Nah, I did see one earlier, but okay. I don't think it was very high either. Just not hitting. Definitely a, a lot of nerves being thrown around right now. Yep. That is for sure. It's a slow fight. Very slow. Good pro advantage. Just do it for me. That's the question. you eating over full wish i had that luxury <laughs> sometimes you got to mate sometimes you got to oh, that was a bad flick okay not hitting big with the specs but at least we're hitting at least they're proking <laughs> yeah legit By far our longest fight. <laughs> oh, like like messed up amounts. <sighs> oh man. Uh, this is like ridiculously long. Yeah. And the emeralds have been so good. <laughs> so good. Rocking. 
Well, the fight is fucking 17 years. Yeah, you, you, you're gonna proc here and there. Do you reckon it's long enough that I would have been able to poison you with a dagger? Uh. So you only brought one, didn't you? Yeah, I would say yes, but it'd probably be end of fight, and yeah, that's true. assuming you poisoned me at the start. And yeah, it be crazy, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's so hit or miss with that shit, you know. Oh my god, I chance. I'm dumb. Oh my god. I'm dumb. I could have died. I could have died. And we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> Should I have brought a fucking fourth pot? Like, <laughs> like I don't know. I, I actually, in my planning <laughs> factor, didn't you would. Really? Yeah, I thought you would. Just did. It's a six. Thanks. <laughs> I got you. I'm size. Such a silent fight. <laughs> yeah. For real. How is my G still rocking prayer? This is incredible. The flicks, man. Being choosy about what I flick and everything. Honestly, I didn't anticipate for the fight to be this long, though. It was the game plan for me. Hit, hit, hit. So many zeros. Of course. <laughs> Prayer. Okay, power play time. Power play time. What am I doing? <laughs> What'd you do? Me. Protect from mage again. I love going that oh, route. Oh god. I think I'm not maging you for the fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be it, guys. Are you out? I'm out. <laughs> GG. Cheers, kids. Oh! The bruise. <sighs> the bru. The, the the plan for me was just prolong the fight so long to the point where you run out of prayer.
Yeah. I mean, I, I figured I, I figured you were going to bring all your brews, but uh, I do. I, the recorder's I at 11 potted. minutes right now. <laughs> I wasn't potted for most of that fight. Uh, I was saving them till you dropped, bruh. Oh, God. You and wasted then, two inventory slots to, for... because I, I think so, I timed my prayer pretty perfectly because I was out when oh, I stopped using... Oh, you killed using, it. You using, killed it. Uh, I mean, I still do have two, two full restores. Uh, yeah, the plan was just only use the bruise while you were protecting and mm -hmm. just prolong the fight for as long as possible and then obviously use the sharks and the supers when you had no prayer because obviously then I don't want to be, you know, putting down my uh, super attack and super strength at that point. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think that was a very hard one for you to win. I had two and a half brews and four sharks left. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, I did so much damage, guys. That's <laughs> so much damage. Like One brew is like over 100 amount. HP, isn't it? No, no, I gassed it. One one brew Six. set, so four, four inventory slots are over 100. That's what I meant to say. And for mine, uh, no, it has to be. Wait, 16 times 4. Oh, it's 64 getting, times... I was getting 15. It's, so it's, 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 two, it's nearly 200. That's that's I what had, I was going for. Sorry. Like, nearly 200 per 4 I had, spots. I had like 880 HP in my inventory, and I calculated <gasps> that you would have about 430 or something. Oh my exactly god. Yeah, so my plan was all I have to do is do half the damage, and then when his prayer drops, surely I do better than that, you know? Yeah. That was the uh, that was the thought process, so. Damn. Well, that's it, guys. That is it. The servers actually go away in probably about 10 hours, so. Yeah. It's, so they're gone it's, forever. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. I mean, the past three months have just been these servers for us so you know yeah it's gonna be sad to see him go on to bigger and better things guys and uh we'll see you all in the next one